<laughs> yeah, it's not a yuppie flu. Some people think that's what it is. It's not that. Uh, it has no cure so far. Um, and it's not just about being tired. It, it's kind of beyond tired. So, yeah. Well, I describe, I describe it to people like sort of having a phone battery. If you, if you were a phone battery, like I often wake up in the morning and I've only got like 25% charge you'd have 100%, I only have 25%. And of course that's gonna run out during the day. So you kind of have to kind of plan your day accordingly, really. I feel pretty lucky as I am right now because I don't have it really bad, but I mean, other people, I mean, I've looked on the internet and seen other people. I mean, they're just out of the game for days or weeks on end. I mean, yeah, I've kind of got it pretty mild, but yeah, these some guys that are out there, they're just, it's all over. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I get tired as well, and it's like it's not really about being tired. It's kind of really, really beyond that. I mean, in fact, I, I, sometimes I'm exhausted, but I can't sleep. You know, I, I, I just can't sleep at all. So yeah, it's not just being tired. We're not lazy. Yeah, for me, I, I really can't handle sudden noise. You know, like a, a slamming door or if someone dropped a glass on the floor or something. I mean, that just, it shoots right through me and just, it just makes me feel like super fragile. And like all, all of my nerve endings go, it's like, I suppose anyway to describe it to someone who doesn't have what I have, it's like, it's like a bomb going off, literally a bomb, like a, 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 a cup falling on the floor can sound like a bomb and it hurts. I mean, this is a really strange thing to say, but, it hurts me, the sound hurts, like really hurts. It's like being punched or something. I mean, yeah, strange that audio or sound can hurt you, but yeah, it hurts me. The other things that people say is, yeah, you need to get down to the gym or do some exercise and you know, and it's kind of, yeah, I can't blink right now. Like there, there's times in the day where, where like, like uh, it's all over. Like, I, can't lift, I can't lift my head up or, I just can't do anything, so, so the, the, the prospect of going to the gym is, is, is just ridiculous, really. I mean, there are times where I just feel great. I mean, most, most of the day I'm really good. Um, and in some days, I, I, have, I have like four, like three or four days where I'm fine. But then suddenly, bang, it just hits you and it's just like, you're just all over. It's just, it's just like you've been unplugged. You know, it's like you, you, know you, you, you were plugged into the electricity on the wall and someone just unplugged it. And that's it, and that's how you are. And, and, and I do feel really, really grateful that, 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 that the condition that I have is, is kind of, I mean, I can live with it, you know, and I hope it doesn't get worse. But yeah, some people, that, you, know, that, you know, some people, you know, they've lost their sight, they lose, you know, the, the use of their limbs. I mean, they're literally in a coma. I mean, I mean, I've seen a few YouTube videos where people are just out of it. I mean, they're just, they're gone. Who, who, who used to be like, you know, really sort of vibrant, sporty, you know, active people, and it's just, it's just hit them and bang. Like the exhaustion thing is, is really difficult to sort of explain to anyone, because like, it, it's just like you, you've, yeah, like you've been unplugged or, you know, you have nothing, you have nothing to give, you know, and yeah, it's real. This is a real thing. <laughs>